Hi, welcome to another example in my series on conservation of momentum. And in this example, what we've got is a bullet inside a gun and it's fired. It's fired with a horizontal velocity of 500 meters per second. And we're told that the mass of the gun is 4 kilograms and the mass of the bullet is 50 grams. And what we've got to do is find the initial speed of recoil of the gun. So we've got our picture here of the bullet inside the gun and there's going to be an explosion inside the gun which is going to expand the gases and that's going to make the bullet fire out in that direction and the gun will, rec will recoil, that is it will go back in the opposite direction. And we've got to find out that speed of recoil. Okay, so to do a problem like this, what I'm going to do is you know, not draw the rifle and the bullet. I'm going to treat them as particles. So if we had a question like this and say this diagram wasn't drawn, what I would be tempted to do would be to draw something like this. I would represent the gun and the bullet as particles and I'd ma write the mass of the gun 4 kilograms inside here and the mass of the bullet remember it's 50 grams and we've got to convert it to kilograms there's a thousand grams make a kilogram so that's going to be 0 0.05 kilograms so we've got what happens before and before there's any explosion here both these particles the gun and the bullet are stationary so we could mark that in as just saying that it's stationary or you could say draw an arrow to represent a speed but only it's zero meters per second. Next we pull the trigger there's an explosion and the particles separate the gun moves back in this direction it recoils and the bullet travels out the barrel in that direction at a speed of 500 meters per second so we can mark that in as 500 meters per second and we've got to find then the speed of recoil of the gun let's label that say V, V meters per second and this is what happens after that explosion occurs when we pull the trigger, that internal explosion. So to solve a problem like this what we've got to use is the conservation of momentum which you should have seen in my earlier two examples that is the momentum before impact equals the momentum after impact. That's when particles collide but equally we can apply it in this particular case when there's an internal explosion. So if we apply the conservation of momentum, let's just mark that in, the conservation of momentum so that the person reading it can understand where we're getting our equations from. So if we apply the conservation of momentum, we're dealing with vector quantities because momentum is mass times velocity and velocity is a vector quantity. It has a positive sense. And that positive sense would be sensible to take it to the left because V is going to act towards the left. So I'm going to take towards the left as positive. And I'd always suggest that you mark that in on your solutions. So applying the conservation of momentum, the momentum before impact, what we've got is the initial mass of the gun for times its velocity. Well, its velocity was zero. Then we've got to add the momentum of the bullet. The mass is 0 0.05 and its velocity also is zero. So this is a bit pointless, you may say, because it's just going to come to zero. Okay, But it just shows you, hopefully, how we formulate our equation. So this is the momentum before impact and this is going to equal the momentum after impact, what we have here. 
Now you've got to be very careful here because if we take the gun, its mass is 4 and we've got to times it by its velocity. And we've got the speed is V, it's in the direction towards the left so therefore the velocity will be plus V. And then we have to add the momentum of the bullet. So that would be mass times velocity. The mass is 0 0.05 kilograms. The velocity, however, is a speed of 500 meters per second to the right, in the opposite sense to our positive direction. So the velocity here will be minus 500. Now if we work this out, okay, what we've got over here is 0, so this comes to 0, and we've got 4v, and then we've got 0 0.05 times minus 500, which is minus 25. Rearrange this equation by adding 25 to both sides, you get 25 equals 4v, and then if we divide both sides by 4, you end up with v equaling 25 divided by 4, which is 6.25 meters per second. So that is our speed of recoil. The gun moves backwards at 6.25 meters per second. Okay, well I hope that's given you some idea then of how to set up and answer questions where you've got a bullet being fired from a gun. Okay?